So if you're watching this video, you're probably considering living on Wall Street in the financial district in Manhattan. There's gonna be a couple things that I want you to know before moving to Wall Street. I don't live in the financial district. However, I live very close to the financial district. And I spend a lot of time there, both for work and just for fun and being in the neighborhood. So there's a couple things that I found. Consider that Wall Street is one of the most popular streets in all of Manhattan. One of the most famous streets, I guess you could say. And because of that, it can be very, very chaotic and loud due to all the traffic and all the tourist traffic specifically. Now, you have to remember, the New York Stock Exchange is there as well as tons of other companies. So there's constantly people coming in and out of Wall Street and the surrounding area for work every single day. And also tons of tourists who are coming to see Wall Street are always there every day. So not only do you have commuter traffic, but you also have tourist traffic on top of it. Pretty much every time I'm in Wall Street and almost all different times of the day, it's very, very chaotic, very busy and beautiful part of Manhattan. But it's just something that you need to consider. If you're the type of person who does not want to live in a noisy neighborhood, Wall Street specifically might not be best for you and maybe financial district as a whole, just to be honest. Another thing to consider when moving to Wall Street is that financial district is probably the one neighborhood in Manhattan where you're definitely not going to get sunlight in your apartment unless you're in a high rise and your unit is very high up and you're clearing from the other buildings. In the financial district, the streets are very, very close together. And because of that, not a lot of sunlight can get through the neighborhood. Typically when I'm showing apartments in the financial district and on Wall Street specifically, that is always the comment that people make is that if they're the type of person who is looking to get some sunlight in their apartment, you're almost never going to get that there. I actually shouldn't use the word never because like I said, if you're in a high rise or if you're on a certain, like if you're in a certain angle or something where like there is some light getting in, you could get light in your unit. But most of the time, a lot of the apartments that you're going to be looking at are not going to have the best lighting there. So that is something that you also should consider. Now living in the financial district as a whole is, could be a little bit isolating because it's all the way in downtown Manhattan. It is literally the most Southern neighborhood of Manhattan, the financial district as a whole. So if you're living on Wall Street in particular, you might feel a little bit isolated from everybody else that you know that lives in Manhattan who doesn't live in that neighborhood because you're constantly having to try to go uptown to visit, see everybody else. The good thing is that Wall Street does have great public transportation because there are so many commuters coming in that the neighborhood needs to have really good public transportation. So most trains are gonna run through the financial district and the walk from Wall Street to most trains is only a few minutes. So it's a very good neighborhood for public transportation. So the other thing about Wall Street in particular is that there's really good fast, casual, quick food options in Wall Street because so many commuters are coming in there for work. So a lot of main places like Dig, I believe Sweet Green is over there, Dos Toros, Chipotle, a lot of those type of like very popular fast casual restaurants in New York City for a quick lunch are there. So you can easily get something for lunch or something quick for dinner as well from a lot of these restaurants. So you can get something quick for dinner from a lot of like these food places. I do think that food options are actually very, very good around Wall Street because of that, because there's so many people who work there and so many people who are having business meetings every day. So you can easily get casual food or you can splurge on like a fine dining meal as well. They have all of that really in and around Wall Street. I can never really recommend a place for someone to live unless I know their exact situation and what type of person they are because I do think that your lifestyle is so important when making a decision on where to live in New York City. So these are all things that you need to consider to know if it's right for you. Now, if you're the type of person who also enjoys like nightlife, then I wouldn't recommend living in Wall Street and I wouldn't recommend the financial district as a whole because it's a neighborhood that is pretty far away from nightlife. So if that's really important to you and you need that in your life every week, then I definitely think that you should consider some other neighborhoods that are more uptown because the financial district doesn't have that. They have a lot of fine dining, but they don't have any type of like nightlife or really going out scene. So these are all just things to consider when figuring out where you want to live in the city. So if you have an experience living on Wall Street or just have any questions about living on Wall Street, so just let me know in the comments because like always, I love to hear from you guys.